G'day there, Ray Corcoran here. So uh, things are getting spicy. The Reserve Bank of Australia, uh, just about an hour ago, at the time of filming, have increased the cash rate in Australia from 0.85% uh, uh, to 1.35%. Um, so that's 50 basis points increase. It's a big increase after the last couple of increases. Uh, it's a third month in a row that things have been increased. So uh, Governor RBA Governor Philip Lowe is definitely uh, keeping to his word in terms of doing uh, multiple quick, large or large-ish uh, rate rises for people um, to show that he's not mucking about. He has stated in the past that he does want to kind of scare people to uh, tighten their belt and uh, to rein in inflation. So I guess we'll see how this all pans out. Uh, they continue to cite in their official statement this month just released, um, they continue to cite things like uh, COVID disruptions and things like supply chain issues. They do expect inflation to peak at the end of 2022 and to subside in uh, and to get back into the target range of two to three percent by next year. So a lot of the supply chain stuff, um, a lot of experts are expecting that to naturally, you know, mostly sort itself out. There are some uh, murmurs from a number of companies and a number of uh, countries like the US that they are looking to uh, diversify their supply chains and not be so reliant on China moving forward, which kind of makes sense, you know, if this stuff is really unpredictable ongoing, I think uh, it's gonna change uh, how supply chains are managed. Uh, they are looking at places like Mexico, where they do have a little bit of stuff made there for goods and services in the States, but that may continue to happen. A lot of experts do say that uh, moving your supply chain from China or part of it to say Mexico or another country isn't as simple as it sounds. There's a lot of ingrained stuff in China in terms of uh, staffing, suppliers, there's a lot of you know, existing infrastructure there that makes it very easy for them to produce goods at large scale and cheaply. So to replicate that somewhere else uh, is not an easy thing to do, but it will be something that I'm sure many countries are gonna look at uh, moving forward. They will continue to use China as a hub, but I, you know, I expect that they're a little bit scared of that being too dependent on them moving forward. We do have a few months left in the year, so there could be another few rate rises. They have indicated that there might be uh, a couple more rate rises before the end of the year. So I would definitely buckle up and uh, expect that to happen. In terms of what I'm doing, um, it's kind of business as usual, to be honest. Um, if you're someone that isn't very frugal or isn't careful with your money and you do have a mortgage, especially a big mortgage, it's probably a good time to start uh, you know, tightening the belt and being proactive or at least uh, getting into it. You know, but maybe late to be proactive. Um, you know, there's already been a few rate rises, but now is a great time to take your finances seriously. Maybe trim back on things now rather than, uh, maybe a little bit now rather than having to trim a lot later. And uh, generally I am, you know, personally on my side, uh, I'm just focusing on uh, filling up my offset account. So making sure that all the money that comes in um, is going to my offset and uh, that will take the edge off any uh, rate rises. And I, this is my personal uneducated opinion, but I do think that they are going to uh, do rate cuts next year. So I kind of feel like this is uh, almost a temporary pain, maybe for 12 months or so, maybe even less, but I could be wrong. But for me personally, you know, I'm just gonna keep a lot more in the offset than I was gonna do uh, in the past. And yeah, I think it's gonna uh, start to hurt a lot of homeowners. There is a bit of a lag period between the rates change, the, the cash rate changing and when the banks actually pass it on, if they do, which they probably will. But I think that a lot of people are gonna start feeling the pinch, you know, people that maybe have been getting used to the good life over the last few years and maybe taking out a bit more debt than they should have. Uh, I think they're gonna be in trouble. And uh, I think, you know, it's a, it's a good time as any to review your finances and uh, get everything in order. I know for me, uh, my rate's gonna be going up. Uh, I actually only did uh, one month of payment on my uh, family home that I bought earlier this year before I had a higher payment. Uh, and then the next high, next payment after that was higher and the next payment after that, that was higher. So I kind of uh, have only been having increasing payments every single month. Uh, and don't feel bad for me, but it's just uh, kind of ironic how that's uh, panned out. But basically I think it's a case of, um, you know, sensible financial habits are important now or whether there is a recession or not, or whether there is a high rates or not. It's always prudent to be uh, making as much as you can, spending as little as possible and uh, investing the difference or keeping it in the offset uh, if you need to. But definitely having a buffer is gonna be extra important right now. Um, they've said at least a couple of rate rises before the end of the year. There's only a few more months left, uh, so we'll see how that pans out. I wouldn't be surprised if there's another 50 and another 50 uh, before the year ends, but I could be totally wrong. I'm definitely uh, gonna be acting as if it's gonna be 
uh, a lot higher than that before the end of the year. Uh, but overall, for me, I'm not particularly uh, too worried. I guess it's just, you know, you can't change what they're gonna do. All I can focus on is, uh, you know, my little world and, uh, you know, and making sure that I'm sensible with the money that does come in and uh, keeping that big buffer in place so you know I can handle any turbulence. But yeah, I'd love to know, what do you think about the latest rate increase? Do you think it's warranted? Do you think he's going too far? Do you think it's not enough? What do you think will happen by the end of the year? Do you reckon there's gonna be a couple more or do you reckon it's just hot air? Um, would love to hear your thoughts and uh, let me know down below. Cheers.